Hello, I'm Dr. Gail Besner, a pediatric surgeon at Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio. I was asked by the editors of Gastroenterology to discuss a paper coming out in the July issue of Gastroenterology entitled Heparin Binding EGF-like Growth Factor Increases Intestinal Microvascular Blood Flow in Necrotizing Enterocolitis. Heparin binding EGF-like growth factor, or HBEGF, is a growth factor that I initially identified as a naturally secreted product of human macrophages. Since its initial description in 1990, hundreds of papers describing HBEGF have been published from many groups around the world. In the past two decades, we have become very interested in the ability of HBEGF to protect the intestines from injury. In our lab, we have multiple in vivo models of intestinal injury, including a model of intestinal ischemia reperfusion injury based on superior mesenteric artery occlusion, a model of hemorrhagic shock and resuscitation, and a model of experimental necrotizing enterocolitis. And we have found that HBEGF protects the intestines from injury in each of these diverse injury models. Necrotizing enterocolitis is an often catastrophic disease that is the most common gastrointestinal emergency in neonates and is rapidly becoming the leading cause of death in the premature neonatal population. Despite over four decades of research, the exact etiology of this disease remains unknown. However, decreased intestinal blood flow to the immature intestines is thought to play an important role. It is thought that necrotizing enterocolitis commences within the intestinal microcirculation in terminal arterioles that represent the principal resistance regulators in the intestine. Much of our work in the lab in the past concentrated on the ability of HBEGF to protect the intestinal mucosa from injury. As a growth factor, HBEGF has a potent ability to stimulate intestinal epithelial cells to migrate and to proliferate both of which are critical events in the healing of mucosal injuries. In addition, we have shown that HBEGF decreases the production of injurious mediators of tissue injury, including the overproduction of reactive oxygen species and nitrogen-free radicals. HBEGF also acts as an anti-inflammatory agent that decreases infiltration of activated immune cells and decreases overproduction of pro-inflammatory cytokines in the injured intestine. In the current study, we investigated a totally different aspect of the effect of HBEGF on the intestine and asked whether HBEGF can affect the microvascular blood flow to intestine exposed to experimental necrotizing enterocolitis. We hypothesized that HBEGF would increase intestinal microvascular blood flow in vivo based on recent studies we performed showing that HBEGF acts as a potent vasodilator of terminal mesenteric arterioles, the vessels that are the major determinants of blood flow to the intestine. To examine this in vivo, we used a newborn rat pup model of experimental necrotizing enterocolitis in which pups were exposed to hypoxic hypothermic stress with and without HBEGF added to their feeds, with control pups being breastfed from their mothers. Microvascular blood flow was assessed by Fitzy dextran angiography. Using this very sensitive technique, we were able to identify and analyze the microvascular blood flow to single individual villi in the lining of the intestine. These images depict some of our results. In these images, the intestinal epithelial cells are stained red and the villus microvascular blood flow is shown in green. On the left, we see the normal blood flow to a villus in a rat pup that has been breastfed. In the middle, we see the significantly decreased villus blood flow in a pup subjected to stress. Importantly, on the right, we see a pup that was subjected to the same degree of stress but with HBEGF added to the feeds, and you can see the significant improvement in villus blood flow. These changes in the microvasculature correlated with histologic injury scores, with stressed pups treated with HBEGF showing decreased histologic injury and protection from necrotizing endrocolitis. We feel that these results further support the premise that HBEGF may play a critical role in the therapy of various diseases manifested by decreased intestinal blood flow, including necrotizing enterocolitis. 
we have currently produced good manufacturing process grade HBEGF suitable for human use and have applied to the FDA for permission to begin phase one clinical trials of HBEGF for the prevention of necrotizing enterocolitis in very high risk premature newborns. It is our hope that novel strategies such as this one will someday allow us to eradicate this devastating disease that affects our most vulnerable patients in the neonatal nursery.